I want to guide you folks through here uh, how you can actually get started with the impact store application. So I'll start from the very beginning. Um, the impact store application is found on the ServiceNow store. So you want to go to store.servicenow.com um, and search for impact. Um, and the application that you want to click on is just the one called impact right here. So you want to click right here and uh, you'll end up clicking the buy button. Uh, just to clarify, if you're a uh, existing paid impact customer, there's nothing over and above that you need to purchase. It just says buy here on the store. Um, you're already uh, entitled to the impact store application. It's included uh, in your impact subscription. So you'd want to go ahead and click buy. Um, and then uh, accept the terms and conditions, and uh, then that's all you need to do on the store. Uh, once you do that, I'll pop over here to uh, your the ServiceNow workspace. So once you've um, acquired the application from the store, uh, you'd want to click on the All button here and navigate over to your Application Manager. So with Application Manager, um, you can search for impact right here. And uh, initially it might show up for you uh, in the available for you uh, segment right here. Uh, for me, it's showing up in installed because it's you know it already installed in my demo instance here. So you wanna click right here on impact. Um, and in the event that you do need to update something, you can click proceed to update. Uh, if not, you can go ahead and click configure which will take you right into the guided setup process, which I'll walk you through here today. So you wanna go ahead and click continue and click get started. So before um, we get into the uh, kind of main chunks of the guided setup, there's a pre-configuration check that you're gonna to have to go through. So you wanna go ahead and click start. And what this pre-configuration check is, uh, is a health scan to make sure that you don't run into any issues with setting up ServiceBridge. Now, ServiceBridge is an application that connects your instance to the impact delivery instance, uh, which is where um, the folks who you work with on your impact squad, could be your customer success manager, a platform architect, um, other folks as well. Um, you'll be It allows you to kind of work with them and collaborate with them and connects your your instance, the instance that they're working from. So that's what ServiceBridge does. This makes sure that you don't run into any issues with ServiceBridge when you're setting it up. So you wanna go ahead and click Start ServiceBridge Health Scan, which will pop us over here. Uh, click Execute Suite Scan. Uh, make sure Full Instance is selected and click Execute Scan. So this takes a couple seconds. You wanna go ahead and click uh, Go to Result uh, for me, I don't have any scan findings show up here. In the event that scan findings do show up for you, um, there will be links that show up here in the task column. So you'd want to go ahead and click those, uh, which takes you to another view, which would give you instructions on and links to documentation, which could help you fix uh, any potential issues that uh, are going on in your scan findings. So once you've gone ahead and potentially resolved any issues that you have, if something does show up here, obviously again, I don't have anything showing up here, you can move right back over uh, to the guided setup. You can scroll to the bottom here and click this as complete. Now, now that this is complete, I can go back and now I can resume the rest of my guided setup. So the next step here is to register my instance and set up ServiceBridge. So I can click resume. Um, I'll just walk you through this here. Uh, there's a couple of uh, links here about learning a little bit more about what ServiceBridge is. You can check out these links if you like. I'll mark this as complete. And what you wanna do is go ahead and start the automated registration process. So you can click here for create provider connection. All right, and you wanna go ahead and click save and click connect to impact. Click okay. And um, this process sometimes takes a couple of minutes. 
So I'll click close. And uh, let's just give this a couple minutes here. So right now it says not onboarded on the inbound and outbound status. Uh, what you want it to say is active replication. So I just reloaded the page. Um, it says active replication, which means that my um, service bridge connection is now up and running to my instance. So I can go ahead and mark this as complete. And um, you you're go ahead, you're all set. Uh, you can see the connection number here. You can see that it's an active replication status. And uh, this would show uh, the link to your ServiceNow instance. So I can go ahead and mark this as complete. And then the next step, which it takes me directly to, is to initiate a data migration. Um, this step takes typically about 10 to 15 minutes uh, to let you guys know what it is. It's basically migrating all of the data from the uh, impact portal, the old impact portal, into your instance. So I can sit here, I can click Start Data Migration. Um, right here, uh, this is initiating a new data migration. Um, and I can track the progress here on an ongoing basis. Uh, again, because this process takes 10 to 15 minutes, I won't walk through the entire process here. But just so you guys know, um, it takes a couple minutes, but these uh, data fields here will, will update in real time. There's about 37 tables that uh, will get migrated over. And you'll see the records populate here. You can see the percentage complete tables migrated over without any issues. Yeah, right here you can see the table starting to migrate over. Um, and you can, you can see the different tables and the status right here. Um, you can even sort this by percentage complete. So again, I won't uh, wait until this whole process is finished here for the demo today. Um, but I'll, I will walk you through the final step of the guided setup process. So um, you, you can actually do this while this is going on. The last is to set up your users. So you can click start. And so folks know, um, all of the user groups that uh, you had in the old impact portal are actually migrated over here. So you have all the same user groups migrated over. And all you need to do is assign the specific users to the group that you'd like. So let's say I want to add someone to the impact app admin group. I can go ahead and click on that here. Um, I can go ahead and uh, click edit. And you can see I've got two people already added, but I can go ahead and say add a couple more folks on my team who I want to make sure have uh, access to impact in the app admin role. Click save. Uh, and you can see that, you know, they've been added here as well. So I can go ahead and mark this one as complete. And you can take a look at all the folks you work with on your impact squad. You can mark this as complete as well. And again, it won't let me mark this as complete because the sync is still going on. But uh, once that's complete, um, you would go over to workspaces and you would see the impact workspace uh, automatically populate right here. And you click there and navigate directly to the impact store application. So hopefully that's a helpful overview of how the guided setup works.